In this video, we're going to look at how we can, I guess, work with scientific notation on the calculator. So the calculator I've got with me at the moment is the Casio FX100 AU Plus, but it works equally well with the FX82 um, AU Plus or Plus 2. First thing, entering in scientific notation on a calculator. So I might just um, just move the calculator up a little bit, and I'm just going to highlight just a a button here that's of some importance, which is this one here. Okay, this is the times 10 to the power of x. You don't have to use this button. It's just there as a shortcut. So if you wanted to enter in, for example, uh, 1.51 times 10 to the power of 5, for example, uh, how would you enter that in? You would enter that in as 1.51. Okay, you press this key here. Okay, uh, times 10 to the power of whatever the power you want. So let's say the browser for the power of 5. Um, it's a little bit counterintuitive in that the, the 5 should probably be a small 5 because that 5 is an index. It's meant to be a little bit higher up. But that's okay. The calculator interprets it as an index anyway. And the, the, the regular decimal number is 151,000. Okay. Another way to, I guess, enter that in, if let's say you don't want to use that key, you don't have to. It takes you a couple of extra, a few extra keystrokes, but... 1.51 times, okay, so you could enter in um, this key here above the, the log key, okay, so shift, it does the same thing. Um, the only thing is I probably prefer this one more because it actually looks more correct, in fact, but in saying that, um, you can still use this key equally well and it'll it'll still work. So this is, on older calculators, it might say EXP, so I've got it here. You might have um, you might have this 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 uh, these three letters on the on the button there, but that's okay. I mean it's the same thing, and again you're going to get the same uh, same answer. Uh, again, one other way if you want to not want to bother with that and just enter it in the sort of the, the more traditional way is to uh, press the power button there, type in the ten, type in the five slower but it also gives you the, the same answer. So there's actually three different ways of entering in scientific notation on the calculator. Pick whichever one you want to use, they all work. Um, one's obviously quicker than, than the other, so you can take your pick there. Now, the other thing I want to talk about though is this uh, SCI mode, okay? And I know I've mentioned this in a previous video. SCI mode is a way to, uh, I guess, to, to work with scientific notation as well as rounding to significant figures at the same time. So it's very, very useful. Okay, the only danger is you don't want to leave your calculator in that mode, especially if you're in an exam or an assessment task, um, you know, start giving you all these you know, strange answers. Okay, first, let's say, for example, uh, 151000, I'm to type that in and I guess nothing happens. I want to convert that into scientific notation. So let's say you, you, you kind of had a, you know, um, uh, a, a mental block, you, well, how do I convert that into scientific notation? I've forgotten about this moving of the decimal uh, point and all that kind of thing. Okay, if you do press shift, uh, set up, okay, you can see a, a bunch of options there. Uh, you'll see number seven here, it could be another number on your calculator, but it should say SCI, which means scientific notation. And you could enter in then the, the number of uh, significant figures that you want. So let's say we're entering, um, I don't know, let's say three significant figures. 1.51 times 10 to the five, uh, 10 to the power of five. So it's really, really useful like this. So let's say 1.5965, you know, for example, put in a few there and it will round it to the correct number of significant figures which is really really good so three significant figures and scientific notation at the same time all right so great value uh, a very useful function um yeah, we might try some maybe uh, some others so if we put uh let's say uh, one five one zero 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 and i change the number of significant figures okay so let's say i want to work now to two significant figures number seven sci comes up two 1.5, let's say one significant figure, okay? So uh, again, shift, setup, SCI, number seven, press number one, okay? And you get, it automatically gives you the answer. In fact, after press equals two times 10 to the power of five. So extremely useful, okay? If you want, I think 10 significant figures, um, you press uh, zero. Zero gives you basically, it just means 10 or, or all, all significant figures, all, all figures included or 10 significant figures at least anyway. So it fills the whole screen up. Um, so yeah, now very important that you do not leave your calculator in this mode. Two ways to clear it. Either do a full factory reset. So shift, um, clear, you know, number nine there, it's a, little, it's a CLR, press that and just follow the prompts. 
uh, number three, uh, for example, and uh, equals, and I could do all that, that's fine. Calculate us back to normal, divide by zero, zero, zero. Happy. Um, the other way would be to take it out of that mode. So let me just put it back into that mode again and say, okay. yep, so let's say it's in that mode and I want to take it out of that mode. Uh, shift, setup, and norm. Okay, norm means a normal, back to normal form. And you want number two, that's my preferred one, number two. Okay. Um, well, number one is, is still reverts to scientific notation for certain decimals or for decimals of a certain number of places. So norm two. Thank you.